Tell me, uh, but the com so our, yeah, I was going to say the commercial. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. so um, really, um, it's always been kind of back and forth, and it to be honest, it has been a little bit of a clash. You know, galleries, uh, while they're excited that you build a costume for Toshiba, yeah. uh, I definitely had uh, galleries say like, man, just work on your artwork. You know, but I think they're kind of saying like, dude, make stuff that we can sell so we can make money too, and they are. You know, mm -hmm. and. Um, that's cool, but I want to live a creative life. Like, I'm not necessarily sure that I want to be a guy that's churning out artwork for like a white cube gallery. That's awesome that people want to see my work in shows. That is awesome, and I will always follow those pursuits, you know? But I also um, have found so much fun and, and freedom in these commercial projects, and it's mm -hmm. always in the, in the early days, like commercial artist, fine artist, you know, blah, 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 blah present day it's like the same thing to me yeah. and um, yeah. I don't t I try uh, first of all if I have to pay the bills I'll take any project you know but mm -hmm. I try to choose projects that I'm gonna kind of be able to have creative freedom and do the things that I do anyway and in the beginning there were some things where I was just kind of maybe building stuff to just because they want I still will build anything anybody wants for the most part but um, what am I trying to say? I, I just try to choose projects where I'm going to get to have the Kyle Johnson come through. Mm -hmm. And lately, that's all I'm getting asked to do. Because mm -hmm. I've done enough of those that people were like, do we want that is what we want. So I, I, it's been like the last couple of years where I felt more and more like I've actually had conversations where they've said, dude, just do your thing. We just want you to mm -hmm. do, just do your, do it. Dude. That is and that is like, that's yeah. mind blowing, dude. Yeah. Um, and so... Uh, you know, and I'm not saying that it's just fully like that. There's still projects that I'll do where there's still um, an art department person or creative at the agency yeah. or, you know, people I'm collaborating with that all have a say. But I have had more freedom in the projects, and so that makes me feel good. And it's just like I'm in the studio making regardless. And those projects, it's fun to have someone give you an assignment every once in a while. That's all it is. They're just kind of giving you an assignment, you know? And that's all you are when you're an artist, is you're just giving yourself assignments. So every once in a while, having somebody give you an assignment is awesome. It leads you to uh, tackle a new problem that your brain couldn't possibly come up with, because it's their problem. Yeah, and they're giving it to true. you, and then you're having to solve their problem. And then when you do that, you end up relating all your problems to their problem, and then you've learned a million things. How to, you know, then you, basically you take what you learn from those projects back to your own work. And a lot of times you end up on their budget getting extra materials. Uh, not wild, but you know, there's always leftover two by fours and like extra cans of paint. And there's always like, you know, a gallon of paint, you only use this much. And so there's just always little bits of stuff here and there that just helps me, you know, continue the practice that I'm in. And then uh, it just, yeah, it feeds off of each other back and forth um, pretty well. Um, the gallery that I'm with in LA went out of business. Um, wow. Mark Moore yeah. is gone. Yeah. So um, for a little bit, I was like, you know, oh man, what am I going to do? But then I started looking at the way my life is, and that's just one part of my life. Um, I had a couple of shows lined up. Uh, I don't have a gallery that represents me in this town, but I doesn't, you know, it doesn't really bother me right now. Um, I am just making art, and um, you know, I've got a few shows lined up. Uh, what am I trying to say? Oh yeah, so there are times, in, a, in there have been times in my career where the gallery side is like funding more. They're taking more of my work to fairs um, and things are selling. And then there's times when the gallery really hasn't been part of my life at all. And it's more commercial jobs or like um, the third aspect of my career, I would say are these projects where I am collaboratively co making collaborative art, basically yeah, like the yeah. airplane, uh, like the thing I did in you know Australia, um, the covered wagon in Utah, uh, the thing I'm going to do in New Zealand, where you go somewhere and you encourage other people, you try to bring out in others uh, something they didn't know they had in themselves, and um, some people know they have it, but there's a lot of experiences where people just are at an office all day and they come to your project and they're like, do like. Um, 
Like, did you know you were gonna make the orca so kick no. ass? You know what I mean? Like, you're a good example. You like did not know that you were gonna make that, dude. And that no, was you had like the coolest ship in that thing. I One did. of them. You know what? Sorry, Danielle. You know what it was though. Um, and you know, when you were saying that, then I, I just, uh, I just thought, you know. I was thinking about my experience in that workshop. Yeah. Because um, I thought, oh yeah, you know, I might go along. It, it might be fun, you know, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Be yeah, cool. he's in town. I better be, I gotta be polite. Um, <laughs> but once I got into it, uh, because um, Jaws is like, uh, it's, it's this kind of, you know, uh, thing that, it's this shared thing that me and my wife have, we've watched it like three yeah. times or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then I started thinking, boat, boat, the orca, for God's sake. And then I really got into it, and um, I think it is because so much of my professional life is sitting in front of a computer and writing, and it's all yeah. words and words. And I, when I teach, you know, it's words, 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 and the 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 feeling of. But they're words that, about images. You're talking about that's, objects and that's images. That's true, but it's yeah. still not. Um, it's still not doing something with your hands yeah. and you know forming something. And you know, I did an undergraduate degree in painting, like. 25, 28 years ago, something like that. Yeah. Um, but it was the first time I'd actually like really kind of made something. And you know, when you go into that zone, and suddenly two hours has yeah. disappeared in like five minutes. That's my life, dude. Yeah. Every day is like that. So I mean, not every day. I have yeah. bad days, but yeah. Yeah, and you know, I got to the extent that you know, I'd made the boat, and then I wanted to make the shark to go in the back of the boat, and you know, the first group had left, and the second group came in, and I was still in there. Yeah. You know, so I really got into it. So I can really understand as well, and you know, in a way, I feel like one of those people who kind of works in an office, and this was an opportunity yeah. for a creative outlet that was so different from from my normal experience. You know. I love that, and I yeah. lo I love that Johnny Appleseed approach. Yeah, uh, where yeah. you just kind of show up in a town. I love teaching. Yeah. I have not pursued like a teach a traditional teaching uh, career. Yeah. I've taught drawing classes. I've taught sculpture classes. But I, the you know I have and I enjoy sharing. I enjoy explaining. I enjoy inspiring. But uh, the semester, you know, you get it. I like to show up in a town, be super high energy, mm -hmm. do something crazy, and then get back to here and be a hermit. You know, yeah, and just yeah. do my thing. And so that has worked out. So with the commercial projects gallery stuff um, and um, and workshops or mm. you know commercial or uh, just you know getting out and just kind of you know whatever and sharing I, I think uh, from what I see as well that all three aspects of those parts of your career actually feed very directly into each other so they? much yeah. oh so much man I am just really inspired by each and every day I think of myself as an explorer just kind of you know, I always tell I always tell my girlfriend like I don't know what I do. Like, what do I you know what do I do? Like, I, I just every day I wake up and I'm working on a project, but it's a, sometimes it's a drawing, sometimes I'm drawing a, like plain air out on the landscape, sometimes I'm making a video, sometimes I'm we're doing wiring in the airstream or working with a. I just I am just um, I just want to make the I just want to. It's almost like I want to. Uh, it's a uh, drawing and sculpture is a visual language, just the way English and Spanish and French are a language. Mm -hmm. And I am a writer of the visual language, and I just have to write, you yeah. know. And I am just constantly writing. And sometimes it's a short story, and sometimes it's a longer form epic novel, and sometimes it's a novella. And it's just sometimes it's and so I don't know. Sometimes uh, I've done that enough that I can kind of pull a little bit of this and that and this and make something else, and yeah. it's just like. Uh, I feel very comfortable in my studio, um, more so than anywhere else on the planet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I just feel like very comfortable here. It's part of me. I've been able, I think that a studio and an artist are, you know, it's just like a total. Uh, it's a relationship. It sounds cheesy, but like yeah, I feel yeah. so good whenever I'm traveling. I love seeing the world, but when I come back to my shop, I just. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And that's probably the same way with everyone's house, but a studio is just, I can work here, I can make drawings here that I could never make anywhere else. Like, I just can't make the same marks. Maybe it's just a mental hang-up, but anyway. Yeah, and since I first, uh, when I first came here, which was probably about two and a half years ago, mm -hmm. um, you know, now you've actually taken over the entire space. Yeah, you, yeah, I was, share, yeah, yeah. I was sharing it with someone and now I'm totally, yeah, rocking it myself. 
Um, that was another thing because uh, not, it's not like a landlord just increasing the rent 10%. Yeah. It's like losing, all of a sudden your rent is increased by as like a ton, like a bunch, as much as the other guy was paying. Yeah. All of a sudden you, you know, it's like in one month, boom, another five or $600 or whatever. Yeah. Um, so again, that was another thing where I was very nervous coming up with new plans. How am I going to build a studio over here? Maybe mm -hmm. rent to a guy. Um, but I just like, I don't know, I just stayed focused on projects and I, I did kick it up a level. Does it, does it ever get uh, laborious? Like are there were times when, you know, I mean I get a sense, you know, like when you went away on a holiday to Arizona and you did the Horseshoe Bend, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, you were still actually Make a drawer the whole make time, a drawer. <laughs> the whole time. So it's not like you went on holiday and you didn't do any of this stuff. You actually went on holiday and you did more. That is a great example of what I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't, I don't believe that there is a separation between mm. being an artist or being a dad or being. I'm not a dad, but like being a. You know, I don't yeah. think there's a difference. Uh, but I just don't. Um, I just wake up every day, and I want to act out in a creative way. You know, mm. whether that is, I mean, that's not every day, you know, but it is kind of like I, every single day I want to, I have to work a little bit. I get yeah. kind of depressed if I yeah. can't. And that's not, not every day. I mean, I can sit around and watch movies all day and not pick up a sketchbook, but there, it really like a couple days, there's no time in my life since I've been 18 that a couple days, uh, only a couple days have passed since, uh, you know, I haven't yeah. drawn something, sketched something, glued something together. Um, you know, when I'm traveling, it's a little different. But you're right. Mm. Uh, one thing I've struggled with with, with traveling is that I kind of ache for, you would think I could always pick up a sketchbook, but sometimes it's hard, and sometimes uh, I just uh, don't find the time, or then I come home and I'm like, I wish I would have drawn. Mm. And so I actually forced myself to do the first few of those out there in Utah and Arizona. And, um, yeah, once I, yeah, just, I'll, you just have to get started. It's mm. like that all it is, the key to like everything in life is just get started on a bad idea and that's how a good idea will come. Mm. And the first one is just, I was sitting there just drawing plants on the shore and it was just a stupid drawing. And then I picked up the uh, binoculars and started looking around. And then I'd been taking photographs through the binoculars. Oh, right, yeah. And that's I'd been good. looking through the binoculars and seeing the circle and I'd been, photographing through the binoculars and posting the circle, but then I was just drawing on a rectangle, and then I took the lens cap off of the binoculars, and I drew a circle on my paper, and then I was, I get the shivers, dude. I was just like mm. I'd also been, yeah, all that. So I was just like, um, uh, I had also seen some photographs of a friend like a month ago I'd worked with and he yeah. had a circle, you know, like the circle was just, he had done some circle compositions oh, okay, yeah. and we had a conversation about like, dude, I've never worked in a circle, you know, the, there's a square, Instagram made you kind of think in a square and then the rectangle and I'm back, you know, you're always like working in a different shape. As an artist, it's usually a rectangle. Mm. Anyway, all of a sudden it was just binocular views sketching I just like I can and I always have the cap to come off the same circle every time cut a bunch of paper I can take photographs and then work off my phone if I need to take yeah. the information it was just like it all came to me and um, so now you're gonna see that more and more when I go to New Zealand I'm gonna do one a day yeah and just every day and then I want to take that back to the museum in Christchurch and I'm gonna blow those up Mm -hmm. and draw them like you know four foot in diameter like pick the I'll do one a day and then pick the best four yeah and make those big along with the whatever so yeah the the road trip is now going to turn into work for the show and it's just uh, I just want there to be really no difference in mm -hmm. my life you know and and yeah it, it's funny when you're saying about you know the the, the drawing in Utah and Arizona and the, the, the air stream. Which you've had for quite a while. Yeah, I have. You've been working on it, you know, with the intention of it kind of becoming a... Yeah, um, a mobile mission, mobile mission lab is what yeah, I call it. Yeah. So like a studio, yeah. uh, I don't see myself necessarily working in it, but just, I, I probably will sit in there and draw, but yeah. I mean, it's not like a, I will be working in the, you know, <laughs> building stuff in there, but the idea is to be able to have a mobile unit, yeah. mobile house that I can take places 
I've tried to write some grants. Uh, well, I've not tried. I've written grants that I have not received, but uh, I have the proposals, and so I'm always looking for more. But the idea would be uh, 50 states in five years, every spring and every fall, hit five states. Mm. And, uh, you know, and maybe Alaska and Hawaii would be tough, but, um, you know, and then uh, just do these five state adventures with the Airstream where one day you show up at a art center and do a project with the community. Mm. One day you travel or something, two days you do drawings in the landscape, uh, you make a video, whatever, just you know, whatever, that kind of thing. Or I've thought about taking the Airstream and living in one week in every, one, uh, spending one year in LA, mm. one week in every neighborhood. And just, right. you know, cause you can have that on the street uh, for any, uh, a basic street for three days before it needs to move. All right. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, I could yeah. just find a nice block. Yeah. And I could just be three days, three days, three days, or go to find a park, or you know, yeah, you know, people. There's some neighborhoods where they may be like, what the fuck, dude. But there's people <laughs> living in their shit all up and down. Yeah, as you drive this yeah. road, you'll see. There's like they're they're smoking crack. But I would just be doing my thing, you know, and get to know the neighborhood, eat yeah. coffee or drink coffee at that place around the neighborhood. You know, just get to know that zone mm -hmm. and tweet about it all day. Like I love Beverly Hills or whatever you know and then the next day I'm in fucking whatever I'm in South Central LA dude it's crazy down here you yeah. know? <laughs> or whatever yeah um, so that type of project or yeah just take it out with my girlfriend or just myself uh, or just what I'd really like to do is just buy some land to be honest and just put that on it mm. and then have like start having a little bit of a place that's outside of the chaos of Los Angeles mm. that I could go to. I'm not financially there yet, but I would love to get some land two to three hours from here. Yeah. And then go put that on it, build a nice deck around it and just kind of have a place, you know, mm. where I could just eventually maybe build an airplane hangar for a studio. You know, like I would live in that eventually and then slowly build onto that property. I don't know. That would be the dream. Yeah. But, but yeah, I do believe in a creative life. I used to say I want to be an artist. We still go rolling. I used to say uh, I want to be an artist. I'm trying to be an artist. And then I finally got to the point where I, I feel very confident saying I'm an artist. You know? yeah. And then that feels good for a while. And now I really just tell people more and more that I am just living a creative life. Like, I don't know what I really sometimes am, you know? Because I want to, uh, you know, I'm talking to some friends that um, run a production company and they were wondering if they could start maybe using me as, uh, advertising me in a sense as a, a director that they could go to for commercial projects. You know, I'll be a freaking director of crazy commercial projects, you know? I'll be a, so is that an artist? I'll be... You know, I'll sit down and help somebody write ideas for some story, you know, I don't know, I just want to, uh, I've kind of mastered the, the, the brainstorm. I'm like, I've, I'm confidently like a good brainstormer. I feel like that is my life. It's like, what if this, what if this, what, constantly like, just brainstorming. I really like that. My dad has always been the type of guy you can call and be like, alright dad, I need a logo, or I need a, a fresh slogan, or something that's catchy for the title of this show. I'm building this. I'm building this. I'm building this. This is, gonna, and then just like, just text each other like ideas back and forth, back and forth. Wordplay, and just you know, I'm not like some brilliant writer, but uh, what am I trying to say? I just like, I like brainstorming concepts and ideas. I am not scared anymore when someone says like, come down to the office and we just want to brainstorm and talk about some stuff, you know. I used to get real nervous about that, but I'll just go down there and start riffing. It's like playing a guitar, like, let's just start riffing some fucking ideas, you know? What do you want to do? Like, what's the budget? How much do we, you know, what are the parameters? And then, like, how are we going to solve all this? It's fun to do that, you know?